Welcome back to Living 808. The Wiki Wiki One Day Vintage Collectibles in Hawaiiana show is happening this Sunday at the Blaisdell. They will have everything from Aloha shirts to jewelry to toys and even coins. Here to tell us all about the big event, Eileen Wong, who is the co producer of the show, and also Dale Cripps, who is a gemologist and owner of Hawaiian Isles Jewelry and Collectibles. Hello, thank you both for joining us. Hi, thank, thank you. you. Eileen, why don't we start with you? Tell us about this big event. Well, this is the 17th annual Wiki Wiki One Day Vintage Collectibles in Hawaiiana show. Mm -hmm. And it's the only show in Hawaii that's strictly vintage. And for our show, it's 20 years or older items, collectibles okay. and antiques. And also, we don't allow any pre sales to the vendors before the show starts. So it's fresh, no, no picking allowed. Okay. And so the uh, customers. So it's have, fair. It's fair. Equal it's fair. opportunity. The treasures are still intact. <laughs> I like that. And you know, you answered my question. I'm thinking vintage. What, you know, what, what defines vintage, but 20 years or older? For our show, 20 years or older. Okay. And each category of collectibles has a different definition. For cars, it's antique cars are pre World War II, and toys are probably from the 50s, 60s toys. Right. Are, wow. are vintage. And some yeah. of the 70s and 80s are getting there too. Yeah, they're starting to get But for our well. show, as long as it's 20 years or older, Thank a little you. bit older than your mother, you're fine. <laughs> okay. Um, Dale, you did bring some items with you today. Can you sh show us what you have here? Yes. Um, let's start with the jewelry. Okay. I brought a collection of Ming's jewelry, which has become very collectible. They opened in 1945. They closed in 1999. The prices just shot up on this stuff, and people's appreciation for it over the years has been fantastic. So here we have uh, a Ming's necklace, all carved bead and ball necklace, and then dragon bracelet, phoenix These are pendant. Beautiful. Dale, um, why would someone want to buy vintage jewelry? Why would they buy vintage jewelry? Because, number one, you can get a pretty good price on certain types of vintage jewelry. Your dollar can go further for that item. Um, I can tell you why I would like to receive vintage jewelry. <laughs> you know, it's unique, it's special, and a lot of the pieces perhaps are one of a kind. They are. They and made in Hawaii. One of a kind. And some made in Hawaii, that's right. What else do you have here? Um, so here we have a Julian Melcher ukulele boy. Um, this is a Hawaiian piece. Julene Melcher came to Hawaii in the 1940s. She worked for Liberty House and created this line of collectible figurines, which has been very popular, very strong. These are and great. A lot of homes in Hawaii also kind of had that Hawaiian feel. Yes. And I could see some of these items just kind of you know, brightening up that, that spot. Yes, you can find them in some homes around the island. We uh, also mentioned that uh, people can find uh, toys, right? Vintage toys. You brought some items yeah, here. Yeah, these are real vintage toys. Uh, probably uh, right in front of you here is the monkey's car, the monkey mobile. Oh, wow. Uh, can I? Yeah, you can leave it the camera showing. Oh, wow. There is a miniature oh. record player inside. It's playing their theme song. It's we are the monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> How fun. Speaking of monkeys, look at this little guy. Yeah, that is Smokey the Bear. Oh, don't hit it again. Here's, here's Smokey the Bear. Wow. Oh, and it's really smoky. Yeah, he really does <laughs> smoke. So, Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Um, this is just a very small sampling. I think it the monkeys is. want to continue playing music. Does it turn off on its it own? It will turn off on its own, yes. Okay. For now, I'm just going to move it on the side because yeah. it's so loud. So. <laughs> thank Sorry you so about much. That. No, that's mm -hmm. okay. I mean, this is just a very small sampling of what people can expect to find. Exactly. Um, Eileen, remind everybody where the event is, what time on Sunday. Okay. The uh, general admission is at 10.30 this Sunday, September 29th, at the Hawaii Suites. At, it's uh, adjoining it's the Saturday? exhibition. This Sunday, Sunday the September 30th. 30th oh, right. This okay. At the Hawaii Suites at the Bladesdell Center. Okay, perfect. We will have all of the information on our website. We're almost out of time, but I just want to ask you real quick, because sure. we're out of time. How did you get into collecting all of this stuff? 
Um, I got into collecting. I'm from New England, and so the really old antique jewelry, in fact, starts in the New England area and moved forward in the country. So mm -hmm. I had a young uh, age where I started in the jewelry business, about 20 years old, and worked for the oldest store in Maine, and they had a beautiful collection of antique jewelry to learn about. Dale, thank you, thank you. What's so great about all of these pieces is there is a story with each and every one. So we encourage folks to go on down to the Blaisdell this Sunday, um, check out what's there, and, and learn a little bit about all of these wonderful pieces. Thank you both for joining us. Coming up, stay tuned for today's Renovating Retirement segment.